Everybody, this is Liz welcome to my channel today I am doing kind of a mishmash of things as you can see I've had to clean that front door oh my god that was icky from nose prints from Henry and then I had to go get another rag a clean one but then I bought these uh, banana peppers a long time ago and I wanted to put those in smaller containers so luckily all I had to do was put them in smaller containers and then re-can them in the pressure canner. There was nothing I really had to prepare. Yes, clean the jars and everything, but after that, things were fine. So I started out just putting the peppers themselves in the jars to make sure I had enough jars. Then I went back with the juice and poured it all in and I actually had a couple, a little bit extra juice. Uh, I went through and cleaned out or poked out all the bubbles in that and I still had a little bit of juice which was totally fine with me. Then you'll see me clean the lids just like normal with the vinegar and then put the tops on and then you'll see the pressure canner. I show you where the steam has to come out for 10 minutes before you actually put the weight on it and then when it gets up to pressure I had to do these oh geez I forgot how long I should remember huh I should go look at the video <laughs> go forward and look at the video well anyway I'll show you on the timer when it gets there we could fall asleep where the land and ocean meet Wake up to the sounds of no one around And as the sun comes up the glow Will show us where we need to go All this waiting so frustrating Let's just drive So come away with me Break free Just you and me ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Thank you. 
These then had to be in the pressure canner for 35 minutes. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Hi, sweetheart. Hi, little girl. So with the storm coming, I wanted to come out and check our vegetables and see how they were doing. You can see that when I zoom into the peas, they look really awesome. Brussels sprouts are looking good, and there they are. Celery looks good, peppers are coming good, broccoli, delicious broccoli. That yeah, was really delicious. It's in the freezer mill I cooked today too. I had some I picked earlier and I par cooked it. And something's eating my celery. But there's the gorgeous peas. So after the storm the next day, I'll get out there and I'll pick all those. I already grabbed one of the cabbages, something was eating it. Some more broccoli. Checking on the storm coming again. I noticed then too over there by our propane tank, we got some blackberries. Oh man, delicious. They were very, very good. So everything looks good in the garden back there. Storms more to the north. That's north of us. And then you'll hear it coming down. So a couple days ago, I made an entire turkey and I pulled all the meat off. We used some for salads and I'm making some freezer meals for Russ. So that's fresh turkey breast. Gal, oh, that was a good, with stuffing and then some of our garden broccoli. These pans, I think I went, yep, it was after this that I got smaller pans that fit better in his, uh, I don't want to call it a lunch cooler, but it's one that heats up and it, it like cooks it. It's better than a microwave for, like, some things just don't taste good in a microwave. But anyway, you'll see me wrap these up and get them ready for the freezer. I want to thank you all for watching. Ask me any questions you want. Uh, please subscribe and like the video. I know you're watching, and that would really help me out. So thank you again. Have a very good day, everybody.
Oh, I must be quiet and 